Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Today, we are doing a, well, I'm doing a collaboration video. You see, yesterday I went to a flea market to found some stuff that I would like to show you guys. And also, since it's been a while, and I only have two questions to answer for a Q&A video, might as well combine the two together. Also, stay tuned in the, later in the video for announcements. So, we're going to start off with the review, and then we're going to start off with the Q&A. So, let's do the review. This is the stuff I got. Got some giant soldiers, and I got a little tank. So, we're going to open the bag and set these guys up, and then once I'm done setting these guys up, we'll do a review and then we will continue with the Q&A so let's set up the guys set we have six giant figures two have rifles in their hands running one of them has a bayonet but the other one I guess has broken off or was come like that then we have a flamethrower a guy shooting a rifle and then one grand then we have a commanding officer running the battle giving his orders while holding his 1911 that's kind of deformed and then we have a radio guy just standing there with a the radio in his hand chilling and also this tank it's a really interesting tank never seen like this before it's made of metal the barrels a little bit bent but I can use it for one of my nations and it's a pretty cool find this thing was four dollars four fifty well these guys cost about five dollars or so so yeah um Let's get into the review. Okay, so basically, my review of these guys is they're all pretty cool. But the thing is, I don't use them. I collect these guys, and these are basically collectibles. And every single army man YouTuber, such as myself and others, have big figurines as collectibles. So these are what these are. They're collectibles. They're not something I use for my nation that is almost not that guy over as you can see from a previous video these guys are huge and I don't use them and I just see them as collectibles and they're pretty cool and I don't get rid of anything that comes to mind so these things are collectibles and the collectibles are really cool so yeah now Let's get into the Q&A and then the announcements. Alright guys, we have moved to the Q&A. Now, before we begin the Q&A, I just want to say these are questions that my subscribers have asked and I won't be mentioning, well, I will be mentioning the names. But I'm not going to... Okay, so basically I won't be mentioning the names. And... And start talking about my... Answering their questions that they have previously asked. So, let's get into it. So, uh, four months ago, I did a video on Ornament Collection Video Part 2 Slash Part 3, The Vastovian Nations. And everything and there's this guy which his name I'm going to say is Charles Gabriel Vendenez sorry for butchering your name dash XT 3WW and he asked where did the giant soldiers come from <clears throat> well Gabriel the giant soldiers that I have vary um, some of them I have had since I was little some of them I had as I got older 
Some were given to me, some were founded in eBay lots that my grandparents found and gave them to me. And like today, the giant soldiers I got also came from a flea market. So that's where I get most of them from. Now, the next question was asked by Amy Johnson. And her channel is called Amy Does Gaming. And if you want to go subscribe to her, I'm going to link her channel in the end of the video. But she asked from when I did my Scary Story Saturdays video, she asked what was my favorite scary story that I have done so far. Well, my favorite scary story was originally the creepy how my Halloween creepy experience, which was a story about <clears throat> a group of friends having fun, having a Halloween party or whatever. And basically they were having a party behind the parents' back. Uh, the guy, the host, is having a party behind his parents' back, and things were fun until all of a sudden they were attacked by a serial killer, or basically being home invaded by a serial killer, and that's when things get worse. If you haven't seen that, I will link that video down below. But um, this video was pretty amazing to do, and not to mention. I like writing scare stories and stuff like that. I haven't done it this year because I haven't had any ideas. But um, this Halloween, I'm going to probably do some like Halloween stuff. So basically, I'll say thanks to these guys, Gabriel and Amy, for asking these questions. And that goes for you guys too if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to ask and i'll answer them whenever i get the chance to and if you don't want me to mention your name that's fine i don't have to but um thank you guys so much for watching my videos and now we are going into the announcements and then the closure of this video okay guys so we have made it to the announcements so for today's announcements the second part of the second Green and Tan War will be coming out this Wednesday. And the reason why it's coming out Wednesday is because Wednesday I have more time to video record and stuff like that. And also trying to find a way to tell you guys about the war without boring you. And I have found a way to do that. And I want to try it out. So Wednesday is when that video comes out. Also, um... If you guys also want, I'm going to have a poll down below. What I mean, I'm going to have a poll posted asking whether should I do whether should I do horror games or continue doing videos or do an ornament history video, which I have actually made in the country history video and I mean I have a slide presentation about a nation's history one of my nation's history if you guys are interested and if you want me to we can go ahead and do that but if not then um, I'll have the other two options listed so basically be on the lookout for a poll and the votes on the poll that has the most I'm going to do from the channel and that'll be it for today so Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also share these videos with your friends, family, or someone. And help me reach to 300 subscribers next year. Because that's my goal for, next, for this upcoming new year is to get 300 subscribers. And if we get 300 subscribers, that would be great. And then... The more we build together, the stronger this channel becomes and the stronger my content becomes. And thanks to you guys who are interested in this stuff, I can continue doing these videos. So, yeah. Alright then. See you guys next time. And be on the lookout for that poll.